One of the tools that I use is OpenOffice. One, it's free. Two, it doesn't change as much. They don't have a commercial motivation to keep changing it like Microsoft does with all their Office products. They make a lot of money every time they make a major update. And OpenOffice is supported by a vast community of developers who know how to get a piece of software to do what they want to do, and they share that with others, and they don't get compensated for that. But they do offer something that is of use to the rest of the world, and I'm one of those members of the world. So to get OpenOffice free, I'll go to Google, which I'm doing here, and I'll say download open office and it'll show these things I use Windows 7 it'll run on most any operating system it really flies on Linux and derivatives of Linux so let's go to Apache which is an open office foundation download open office 3.4.1 for the most recent version of Windows EXE in English okay so click on that all right, now let's see what else we can get here. All right, here we go. Comes up and it says that it's ready to do it. So I just saved the file to my download area, and that should take it a while. So I'll pause this while that's happening. I'm using Firefox, and you notice the latest Firefox has this little thing up here in the corner that tells me how my download is doing. And so with that, this will turn to a green arrow when it's finally downloaded. I can click on it go to that place and install. Now if you click on this little icon, dynamic icon, because it's being updated in real time, you can see three minutes, six seconds remaining, 101 of 130 megabytes. It's a large package, but it includes presentation manager, word processing, a database manager, spreadsheets, so it's the entire package. Okay, the download is complete. Should point out some things here about OpenOffice. Notice 813,057 downloads this week. You think that's making a dent in Microsoft's market? Could be. Cross-platform, Windows, Linux, Mac OS 10, 170 plus languages, extensions available, commercial support available. It's a real piece of software, and it's got thousands and thousands of hours of programming support and development. Okay, so we go up here and click the green arrow. We can see it here, and I can double click it. It'll automatically come up with run, and so I will run it. Okay, thank you for downloading 3.4.1. Click next to continue, and the destination folder will be open office installation files. Now, I want to look and see, well, let's look at PayPal here. This is a spreadsheet. I'm going to look at the help to see what version about Office. I have 3.4.1 already, so I don't really need to install it. So you just follow through and do that, and you're done.